Well, after nearly six decades as one of Owensboro's most iconic buildings, Gabe's Tower is starting to come down. This is a live picture of Gabe's Tower where demolition started earlier this afternoon. Contractors took down the front entrance and started working on the top floor. Uh, the start of demolition of Gabe, Gabe's Tower ends a nearly six-decade era as one of the most iconic buildings in Owensboro and probably in western Kentucky. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett has a look back at its past. Near the heart of Triplet Twist, with its single-floor homes and businesses, was a tower that stood tall. I was just sort of fascinated by just, just, the, just, the, just the, the spectacle of the thing. It was built in 1963, named after Gabe Fiorella, a restaurant owner, and designed by Owensboro architect R. Ben Johnson. Gabe Fiorella was already on the corner making the triple with the restaurant, uh, Gabe's restaurant, uh, but that commercial block, you know, still had some things you could do on it, and he had this idea of, of building, uh, a, a, you know, this, this sort of tower hotel, and wanted it to be really, really unique. This really unique tower had a restaurant and indoor pool on the upper floors, it was once the tallest building in Owensboro in Western Kentucky. I remember that there, they had the, the restaurant was on the bottom floor. And then uh, the rooms were all in the middle. And then they had the swimming area and stuff upstairs. Holding everything from business meetings to live TV broadcasts, including some by WEHT television. In the Gage Tower day in 63 to, 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 to the late 70s, you know, that was the convention center uh, of town, you know, and so all the business meetings, all the business groups would sort of come there. It was a destination for groups and for the famous. Every once in a while there would be some, you know, like a Jerry Kramer was there, you know, a local celebrity, and, and that was kind of unique to get to meet him. After Fiorella's passing in 1977, the tower got new owners. It was the site of a business college in the late 70s and 80s, until a Tennessee-based group bought it in 1983. It was very exciting for me. John Ferguson's grandfather, Bert, was a part of that group. His parents managed the hotel and lived there for a year. I had my own hotel room. Was I was in the room adjacent to my parents, and so we kind of had two rooms next to each other, and that was our living quarters. Despite the excitement, that hotel only lasted through the 80s. After an attempt to make it an assisted living center, the Fergusons sold the tower in 1990. Since then, it kept changing hands. A Pennsylvania-based group and local developer Bob Zimmerman, among those that tried to repurpose it for a hotel, housing for veterans, but none of those ideas succeeded. It's kind of sad for me just to see what that building could have been. There aren't nearly as many people around in Owensboro who actually remember what it was like in the 60s and 70s. So that's, that's, a, that's a real challenge. As this historic tower fades into history, some will remember its past glory and lament its demise. Obviously, I'll be sad about it, and, and, but, I'll, but I'll also view it as a, as a really missed opportunity um, because I think it's, it's probably very likely um, that what happens on that block uh, in its place will, be, will just be very standard. In Owensboro, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.